Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Alhamdulillah. Wassalatu wassalamu ala asratil anbiya wa mursalin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. Alhamdulillah, first and foremost, let us express our gratitude to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for giving us the opportunity uh, to meet in this virtual session. And this episode, I'm going to talk about Budi Sejahtera Ramadan. As we all aware that Ramadan is a special month uh, that uh, created by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the Muslim, the believers to perform an obligation of Islam, which is fasting. Yeah, after shahada, la ilaha illallah, Muhammad Rasulullah, salat, okay, zakat, and then uh, fasting. Uh, this is also the month of Al-Quran, uh, the month of people intensify, yeah, people uh, uh, beautify, and people also uh, complete uh, their recitation and also understanding about the Quran throughout this month of Ramadan. All right, brothers and sisters, uh, as Allah mentioned in the Quran, Auzubillah min shaitan rajim, Ya ayuhal ladhina amanu kutiba alaikum usiyam, kama kutiba ala ladhina min qablikum la'allakum tattakun. Sadaqallah al-Azim, uh, Allah said that uh, all you believers, uh, fasting has been prescribed uh, uh, to you and also people before you so that you can gain taqwa. Okay, the philosophy uh, of Ramadan is actually, uh, it is a crash course, uh, a crash course uh, madrasa or school, or we can call also like boot camp uh, for companies we provide uh, annual camp okay, or annual team building uh, to uh, rejuvenate or to uh, refresh uh, the connections, you know, the understandings and also the directions of the members of organization so that they will be able to increase their performance and also to remind them back about the obligations and for for us, this is another routine okay? on, on, on an annual basis, 30 uh, days of uh, Ramadan to prepare for us. And also, this is the month, the starting month for uh, people to prepare for the Hajj. Okay? And then when uh, after Ramadan, we have the Shawal and then Zul Qaeda and then the, high, the peak of uh, Hajj is the uh, from uh, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, Zulhijjah. So there, there are connections uh, between Ramadan uh, and also uh, the fasting of Ramadan and also the, uh, the performing of Hajj. Uh, but Ramadan, fasting in Ramadan is compulsory to all the believers. Uh, but, uh, but for the uh, Hajj, it is those who have the ability. Okay? The ability means it's not just about uh, ability to uh, pay for the expenses uh, during the journey and also expenses during the stay in uh, during the Hajj, but also uh, ability to enter into uh, Makkah and Marina in, in your context nowadays to, to get the visas, passport and so forth. All right, brothers and sisters, the problem was that uh, if we reflect you know, the, the, the whole uh, uh, components of Islam that we have uh, Akidah, uh, Ibadah, and also Akhlaq. Uh, the reason that we wanted all the three components to be to be on, on the right track, eh? the good Akidah, the, the good Ibadah, and also good Akhlaq. And because believers need to perform their duties with care and due, uh, due diligence. In other words, uh, they cannot have any uh, negligence eh? or carelessness in, 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 uh, call, in performing their task. Uh, however, we are facing a lot of uh, tribulations, tests, challenges, distractions eh, that uh, reduce our faith, reduce our, our mindfulness, and also reduce our consciousness even uh, to perform our ibadah. And therefore, Allah has created a special um, uh, ibadah, which is fasting, in the month of Ramadan only. Okay? Obligation is in the month of Ramadan. Of course, uh, the recommended uh, throughout the year. We have uh, we have uh, Monday, Thursday, and uh, three days in every 
every month we call the white days uh, and also we have the uh, fasting on certain occasions for example during the night and 10 of, of Muharram all right Ashura days and then we also have during um, uh, before uh, before uh, uh, throughout uh, the, 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 the early nine days of the Hijjah yeah, for people to perform uh, fasting and so forth okay, those are the um, because to continue uh, to continue the the, the the spirit of Ramadan. So Ramadan is obligation for all. And also one of the key indicators uh, that you know, Ramadan is considered mabrur, uh, accepted, and people have the, 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 the like or the preference to perform a fasting throughout the years, not just in Ramadan. Of course, the peak for everybody uh, to perform the uh, the, the fasting in the month of Ramadan. However, uh, for those who are, who are sick, uh, who are not able to perform uh, fasting in the Rama, also are given the exemptions and also given the alternative like fidya and whatnot. Okay, uh, brothers and sisters, the problem is that we are having deficit of taqwa. Therefore, we need to, this is like, you know, like uh, something called overhaul, okay, or, you know, uh, tightening, tightening the, the, the screw, uh, the nut they're already losing. Uh, so, those the other elements due to deficit of faith, deficit in ibadah and, and akhlaq, uh, and then we, we became non sejahtera became less tough one. Uh, for example, due to the uh, target uh, to chase for the economic performance, economic profit, for example, in a company. So, we are chasing until we, we neglect, uh, we, we, we don't put our priorities, uh, uh, objective of Islam, which is to worship Allah as our priorities. By our practice about cash, about, you know, about profit maximizing, and, and also the, the ecosystem that we have that you know trigger us to or distract us to be uh, very much of you know uh, very much of the the worldly affairs. For example, you are distracted uh, to be to, to raise in the wealth, raise in the appearances, raise in the uh, doing. You know, like uh, for example, uh, before COVID nineteen, we have. People, people were competing eh, in in, uh, in conducting, uh, in organizing the uh, wedding receptions, and everybody wanted to uh, to get uh, certain recognition that their weddings of the year, you know, the best wedding uh, in terms of the crowd, in terms of the food and so forth, which is deviated eh, from the makos, the objective of doing those wedding reception and so forth. Okay? And then sometimes with the extremism. The, too much, you know, of, of, of burdening themselves, uh, arrogance. You know, people do not want to compromise. The greediness, the hypocrisy, the egoism, the emptiness of people. These all uh, actually contributing to to people to be non sejahtera Non sejahtera means people are not able to to be fully aware, uh, fully mindedness to perform their duties as servant of Allah. So this create the imbalances in terms of the. Uh, we, what we call the uh, uh, what call dishonest, uh, what they think, what they feel, what they say, okay? what they really, really do are actually not 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 consistent. Okay? Uh, they we we tend to have like for example lip service. Okay? Lip service we say that uh, inshallah we will help you, but uh, but in back in mind actually it's just a lip service. Yeah? Perhaps uh, we we might might not be able to balance our life uh, too much of work, for example, until forgotten about the work and life balance. Okay, we, we need to allocate time for our, uh, our, our physical exercise, for example, and then our food, too much of food uh, during non-Ramadan. And we, we, we always, you know, put a requirement to have refreshment uh, for our food and so forth. All these are a fact, huh? because according to those in the health, Saying that whatever you are eaten, that that is you. Okay, you too much of eating, then you accumulate uh, fats, and then the fat will make your 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 body slow, and then not only slow, but also you you can get other diseases. And uh, many doctors that I met used to say that uh, we have a lot of problems with you know uh, obesity, and then obesity lead to uh, diabetes, and then lead to high blood, and then the heart diseases and whatnot. So due to this, you know, 
extremism, arrogance, you know, people chasing for profit and profit and cash. People people put cash as top priority in their life rather than you know, rather than the, what I call the balance between life and also uh, the work. At the end, it became became you know non sejatra imbalance eh? imbalance in the humans. Therefore, when human is imbalanced, they cannot function what expects as, as expected of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to be the Khalifa. And also Khalifa means to lead others to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So from what we have studied, you know, epistemology from what we have studied from our Quran, Sunnah, Faith, Applied Badah, that one, so forth. So one thing that we are uh, uh, informed, that we uh, have been uh, informed to us that Allah is our objective. Eh? Uh, Allah hu yatuna. Allah is an objective in our life. Okay, and then we have the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that guide us how to worship Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, and we have also the duty uh, towards other human beings, hablum min Allah and hablum min al nas and then hablum min al alam. So this relationship need to be done in the in the Islamic manner, which mean the fida the the foundation for every relationship is based on Allah. Brother and sisters must be Allah. Allah. This Allah who Yatuna. Allah is always our our objective. Lillahi Taala. Every intention now I do Lillahi Taala. Musalli Lillahi Taala. Lillahi Taala must must always there. Tawhid it because now every minute, every second that we have is not for us to waste it. Okay, we cannot. Uh, Demerit ourselves. Okay? We also have to put the merit of us as the Khalifa, and therefore we have to make sure that our uh, important components of soul, mind, lust, and body are balanced. Okay? Therefore, when we balance, we can have good hablum in Allah, good association with Allah. We perform fasting in order to ensure the balance of these uh, components of human. And when we are balanced, we will be able to be the protectors, you know, be able to be Khalifa. To protect the humanity and also the uh, the environment. So no question of deforestation, no question of you know, uh, big flood. You know people uh, have a dumping. You know, they throw their chemical into the river at the end. You know more than one million uh, users in Klang Valley are affected because of the uh, water cut you know, or water repair. The people have to re repair at the water. A treatment plant in order to uh, clean from all the dangerous chemical and whatnot. Okay, in, in our university, we, we are using this what you call the Sajatra uh, current framework. So guided by uh, Tawhidic paradigm, uh, Quran and the Sunnah. Always Quran and Sunnah uh, are guiding us and we have to ensure that in San Sajatra, we'll be able to protect the faith, uh, life, knowledge, uh, well, and also that lineage, and in order, and at the same time, also to make sure that we can uh, operationalize this into the activities of the university, the vision and mission, the objective of the university. And in the context of uh, Ramadan, yeah, Ramadan also is school. When we talk about school, uh, Ramadan is guided by the faith, and also guided by the Sharia and Ibadah. So, this the fasting uh, has the, uh, the terms and conditions. Okay, from from sahur uh, after sahur the fajar uh, from fajar until maghrib so after maghrib when it's a maghrib asad then only we can we can breakfast or iftar and and then uh, the learning process throughout the three thirty days yeah learning uh, so we, we 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 learn to know how actually this ramadan is all about and then we are doing the ramadan and fasting recitation and so forth all right brothers and sisters so the ramadan is actually and Actually, it's a program curriculum for us, okay, uh, in, embedded in in the pillars of Islam, and we have the bi'ah, yeah, the bi'ah uh, of Ramadan, uh, okay, the one that very notable uh, is everybody will be uh, spending occupying the masjid uh, to do itikaf, recite Quran, and people start to do the tasil Quran uh, to correct their recitation, tajwid, and whatnot, okay, and then also we have the Taroi, uh, when it comes to iftar, and then we have the if uh, is a jama'i, right? And like very happenings, uh, Ramadan is happening. Uh, people, you know, uh, uh, frequenting themselves uh, to the masjid. And the peak, uh, the last 10 days of Ramadan, people will be totally 
shut down. People will be like, uh, take a leave from works, from studies, etc., and to spend the last 10 days at the optimum level uh, to ask for the, the bounties, the taqwa from Allah, right? the light of Qadr, the night of power, uh, equivalent to uh, 1,000 months or 83 years of the rewards. And at the end of Ramadan, la'allakum taqtapun, so in the context of Jatra, is the Insan Sajatra. Okay? Insan Sajatra as expected. So going through this process and then and then the, one of the indicators that I said just now, if you are uh, you graduated with very flying colors from the Ramadan, you are not going to be the Ramadaniyin, but rather you're going to be the uh, Ibadur Rahman. Okay? So if Ramadaniyin, you only concentrate in Ramadan, after Ramadan, uh, Ramadan gone, you are no longer uh, committed, no longer focusing on your Ibadah. So in San Sajatra that we want is actually, they can Sajatra themselves Okay, Islam of Saka, okay? they also can contribute to the world, okay? the betterment of the, according to their capability, their circle of influence, their professionalism, their work, and so forth. Okay? If, you are, if you are an accountant, then you have to make sure that, you know, to make sure that you are always professional as an accountant. And also you can be the, the custodian you know, to the wealth creation and also the custodian of the economy, the country, and so forth rather than you, know, you becoming the uh, betrayal to the economy because you are a professional accountant who trusts you that you will use your professionalism in, in, the, in custodying the, the wealth of the countries and so forth. So when you are not, and then you will be creative in your ways, you know how to, to manipulate the situation so that you also can get the benefit you know, from, from the wealth of others uh, manipulating that to become your own wealth, which is not, which is not uh, acceptable because of taking other people's property. So, brothers and sisters, the Sajatra person, the Sajatra person are also the Ulul Alba. Another one, Ulul Alba is always alert with the situation. Ulul Alba always do muhasaba. Uh, Ulul Alba always not take, uh, do the, uh, what we call uh, inventory taking of what they're doing. They never stop. That's why in Islam, brothers and sisters, we us to do self evaluation before we go to the bed. Okay, do muhasaba and 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 ask forgiveness and seek for forgiveness before we uh, go to the bed. And we do not know whether we are going to uh, sleep forever in the lillah or we are, we still have the chance to wake up the next morning to continue our life. Okay, brothers and sisters, the methodology that we have in uh, in the the Buddha Sujatra Ramadan. Okay, we have uh, the activities of the individual and also activity of the uh, ishtima'i. Okay, do'a, continue to make do'a, prophet tahajjud, duha. Okay, you have your uh, qabliya before subuh prayers, and then you say the Quran, duha prayers, qabliya, zuhur, uh, qabliya, ba'diya, zuhur, Quran recitation again, qabliya, asad, turakat, and so on and so forth. Eh? And then, uh, Collective level also make dua, collective level dua, dua punut, for example. And then we, because we perform salah subuh, you know, collectively in, in congregation, zuhur, asa, okay? And then iftar also iftar jama'i, salah maghrib in jama'a, isha ya taraweh, witir and so forth. A lot, eh? A lot of things that we do. This is all the, make us, you know, occupied. You know, occupied beside, you know, it's not Ramadan, we just do this. Uh, we, still, we still have to go to class, uh, we also have to work yeah, to earn for living and so forth. But this will make us more occupied in Ramadan because, uh, and also Allah provides us with the good ecosystem that we are not, uh, we, we are not inclined to, to do uh, scenes yeah, because Allah has closed all the uh, uh, call possible doors for the scenes. And we, Allah wanted us to enter into Jannah. So from what we have gathered from the uh, processes of you know, ibadah that we've gone through, basically at the end, we will be able to get to know ourselves better, others better. So when we know ourselves, then we start to to, uh, to work with others, eh? yeah, the ta'aluf, and then uh, start to do, start to understand each other, okay? and then to be, to, to be concerned okay? and give protection and always to uh, give, okay? give your affection, your love and care towards others. And ultimately, uh, ta'a wa taqwa. Again, taqwa. Yeah? Allah 
commanded us to cooperate in the in the in the cause of albir righteousness and also taqwa and the piety to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wala ta'awanu ala al-ism wal udwan okay do not uh, cooperate in the in the sins and also uh, creating enemies uh, so we have to be uh, ramadan uh, uh, remind us prepare us to be always in a state of uh, ta'awun cooperation so the budi ramadan actually is timely for all of us to do the self self correction self you know uh, refreshing rejuvenation at individual level so for self jatra and renovation at the collective level for the transformation the betterment of the ummah and the society so take away for your brothers and sisters who are here and also for myself uh, to, to continue ramadan uh, we have to continue ramadan not just during ramadan but of course Uh, it is not obligation but we continue ramadan in the form of fasting for example so after ramadan we stick and fasting uh, six days uh, in shawal right uh, we have six days many people too much uh, you know celebrating eid forgotten until the early day until the end of shawal forgotten to perform the very very recommended uh, and also uh, by fasting 30 days in ramadan plus, plus six days in uh, in uh, shawal is equivalent to Uh, one year of uh, fasting that's equivalent but, but not necessarily equivalent uh, literally 30 360 days just to tell us the importance of continue the fasting in in the ramadan not just sick uh, in shawal not just sick thing you can continue because in shawal also we have monday thursday and also we also have the white days and continue every week monday and thursday and then in the middle of the month 13 14 and 15 the white days continue ah then we can we can continue to have the uh, the process of regeneration at the small scale ramadan at the big scale so we can continue when you are having a small scale uh, like a repair you don't have to do the the major repair uh, this is the metaphor in terms of vehicle and continue to work in jamaah to, to always to have the ta'aruf tafahum yeah, through the usra alaqa you know mutaba activities that do you do together and always in jamaah like in your case you have your emphasis eh, for the economics and management and society and i am level we have so the union and also you can go to uh, maaruf club and and what not but do not work in silo uh, because if you are silo you might not be able to have the strength okay even so jamaah require us to do in jamaah Okay, brother and sisters in completion but buddhist jatra ramadan actually manifestation of the intellectual empathy not just empathy but also we will take part uh, how actually uh, to overcome the problems that facing by ourselves and also others and we cannot solve alone we have to work together with others to sustain you know sustain our performance as uh, as servants uh, ibadur rahman servant and khalifa of allah So therefore, we need to emphasize on cooperation. Okay, see the word cooperation, empathy, not just sympathy. Sympathy only you a uh, pity, but you don't have the the feeling to react or uh, to put into action. Sustainability, whatever we do, we always have to think about connection with other other uh, stakeholders. Habla min Allah, habla min an nas, habla min Allah, and always focus on humanity because that is the the subject uh, that Allah sent prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam ma illa rahmatan lil alamin so the cooperation in this jatra is the working our mind soul and action into uh, ability to work with others continue to have the conversation uh, to regain empathy caring and, and sharing and also uh, what call in the term that you use so in malay is the lestari yes I mean that we work consistently is the poma uh, or japanese call the kaizen and the continuous cooperation empathy sustained result in uh, in the sajatra in humanity itself okay? and the humility uh, will also apply the grit of akal intellect dakar you know our staunch uh, our uh, our integrity amana people can trust us and more importantly the bestari mean our intelligence or be in the short form our tanzir actor put it as uh, a d a b or adab Uh, and with the operator like shura yeah, mutual consensus and in the term used in the malay culture is the gotong royong uh, which is translate our uh, into strategic actions and also outcomes so in other words so when we put together 
we have no problem of having poverty, no problem of having hunger, or no uh, inequality in terms of education, uh, environmentally, factor climate change, and so forth. Actually, by default, uh, with uh, the program, the curriculum that Allah has set for the Muslim, yeah, with the Rukun of Iman, Rukun of Islam, so the, these two combined, okay, and we Muslim, we live in the, the what call a very harmonious and sustainable manner. May Allah bless all of us. Uh, with that, I end this session. With the Bila Bila Hita Bila Assalamu Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh.